happiness and having an adventurous life out there. And some days I have to that the challenge has been fast like this. <laughs> like really sometimes in the middle when I had to go back to go back to the bed and sleep and meditate before I was doing the i I've been doing the post week and then doing a meditation before sleep and depending which conditions that meditation sometimes was more or less successful. But I didn't sleep. <laughs> I didn't meditate. Like clouds of colors, 
and this this month that they've been doing this aura cleansing and this practice and this meditation like I encounter myself having maybe less prejudices in order to encounter a person and to see something around or to per- start to perceive something like it's a, weird, it's a bit weird how I perceive it but it's definitely there is there has been a change there has been a change in, in the way that I perceive I think I perceive more now than a month ago I think you trust your perception more than now than no, 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 I physically see it more as well like in my mind, like for example depressions are more invasive in a way so it's something that is as well reinforced and I think it's I think it's because of the meditation and as we were talking before because of the writing like like I like every time that I do a post in the night and we talk about it when I finish it I feel I done something I created something else. and I think that that's very important for the psyche that's good um, myself, I don't see any improvement in terms of I'm more perceptive than before. But as I was telling you before, my journey this month has been very much inward, not outward. And what happened? Many, many insights about, well, the battery. <laughs> the battery is important. <laughs> <laughs> or not going with the camera. That sometimes the f- shit camera starts to to film and it's and then a shit because we are having very important speeches here and I don't want it to lose it. So she doesn't want it to lose. Um. How, anyway, how uh, the work that the challenge did for me, it gave me the self-confidence and self-love to believe in what I'm doing and to just relax into it and to just trust it and stop questioning myself about am I doing this right am I doing this wrong no this is what happens this is what I feel just accept it also control is really just an illusion that we have want to control it want to be in control of ourselves, things are going to happen however they want to happen. What we can do is try to get something good out of it or just be sad and despair. So that's the choice we have every single day, but that's it. No other control can be done. For real. I I was thinking at the beginning of the challenge that by this time and we will be like some kind of you know ever be surreal of Lord of the Rings. I was like, more imagining ninjas with superpowers, but that I think that we like one thing that I'm realizing is that I like I feel the emotions more strong as well. Like I feel anger. I feel like all the emotions is like a soap opera in a way. Inside. You are more clear. Everything you feel is it's clear. clear. So you understand it better because you know yourself better. I was thinking person. I was gonna be like a then triste by now, like like very much more in sweet than it. That's for the level four of the challenge. When you have to <laughs> upgrade. So maybe yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's wanna go to the definition of the day? Yeah, we should start with that now. Vocabulary is defined as um, so two or more objects or forces coming together and creating an energy that is bigger than the sum of the total parts. Right. How, how, what metaphor we can create to, to illustrate a synergy? Well, colors. Colors is a good metaphor. Right. Yeah. You put blue and yellow together you get green which is no more blue is no more yellow is something new yeah like would, would you call like doing a ritual an act of synergy 
definitely. Yes, no? You're putting en different energies together and trying to direct it with an intention towards something that is non-existent. Mm -hmm. And the ritual is supposed to project you towards that. So, yeah, definitely. So, synergy will be the joining of forces, different forces, in order to kind of even if they're not Mixed. joining, just the combination. It can to be combine. an accident sometimes. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be directed. Hmm. But yeah, so there is also that. Um, synergy, as I experienced it myself so far, is something that is so non -repro reproducible on your own that it's impossible to explain if you're not in contact with the other person, the other object, the other action that is creating whatever feeling you're trying to explain. Synergy can be positive or negative, of course. Like an escalation of hate, for example. People doing something to each other and then this getting worse and worse and worse during the years until you forget completely why you started fighting in the first place but the hatred got so much harsher in time that this energy is still there this explosion is still there happening yeah I was thinking as well how synergy can relate and how you take things in like like in your daily basis, like how you take job, how you take your friendship, that's everything is a synergy. Like in terms that like you really are co-creating all the time and like putting all together. Like not to no. when you are in synergy. Yeah. When you are in synergy. When that's you are in synergy. When you're not, you're just repeating an act in a in a habit uh, or sometimes it's just repetition. Sometimes you, you do things and you feel there's no energy or no inspiration in what you're doing. It's just because you're acting automatically like a robot. Not necessarily that's going to create a reaction or whatever effect uh, synergy could be. So then synergy is when two elements or more are really like connecting with each other. Of course. And like flowing together in order to create something else or like yeah, just okay. to then we, you we can just talk about the basics of creation a man and a woman creating a baby that's a synergy of that's, course that's the perfect example of synergy i would say yeah so what we did so far we defined psyche which is obviously the sun in a, an astrologic point yeah. of view the personality or ego which would be the moon the body, our earthly part, the mind, Mercury, and then we defined energy, which is Mars, at um, least in our definition. Yeah. Well, then we have synergy, of course. Energy. Oh, we jumped in, no? Uh, we, we, jumped we, we just reversed them, and we did the same with body and mind. All right. But yeah. Anyway, energy and then synergy we just did, which brings to duality, because yeah. that can be a connection or an opposition. Feminine and masculine, light and darkness, and so on and so on. I will not tell you the next definitions because we keep them for the next show. Yeah. So, duality, no? See, like you and like me. Like this, like you and me. Like the Tao. How we define duality? Well. It's a thing of I think Lao Tzu did it perfectly. How he done it? <laughs> he made it. The Tao, the Tao. <laughs> yeah, the other day I tried, Yin and Yang. I tried to read. I tried to read the, the. You tried to read. To it. listen the audio book. The audio book. But I have to admit that I fall asleep. <laughs> nice. It was interesting, but that's the yeah, truth. but that's what happens. It yeah. Was interesting, but you fell asleep. Anyway, hands to the matter. Duality. Duality is when there is two different forces that they are complementary in their nature. Yeah, mostly. And there is like 
also a whole of the magnet. No, not necessarily complementary. It can be opposite. Everything exists because there is an opposite to it. You can define beauty defining ugliness. You can define goodness defining uh, meanness. You can define light and dark because they are opposed to each other. Yeah. So duality is also this. It's not only that would be that would be polarity. Yeah, that's also a shade of it, I suppose. That's why duality, because duality includes all these things, the opposition, the polarity, the connection, the complementary part. Duality in the sense that you know that you exist only because you can relate yourself to an outside world or to an outside person. If there was nothing but yourself, you would be existing, but you couldn't define yourself. This is the most philosophic basic Yo, concept. Yeah, no, no. Right. Yeah, every single Greek philosopher, or even before that, uh, was starting from the point that we can define everything around us only by relating it to something different to it. Because if everything is the same, then you don't define it. Okay. Then that idea will be like the, the gateway to polarity. Yes. So it's there a big, it's a big this generic duality. starting point yeah, where there is, there is two. Because when there is one, there is one. And then the voice doesn't go anywhere, nobody can hear it. You need the two to get to anywhere, to define anywhere, to define anything really. Well, maybe when you're dead and you are part of the universal consciousness, it's a different kind of way. But yeah, right, now, right now, right now, I can as a human being, I can only define things if there is something else in yeah. front of me, even if it's a big uh -huh. or whatever that is. I so duality is the basic of reality to me. And when? Okay, that's that's that it has to do a bit duality with sort of connection in terms that this one has to connect with the outside and then there is a connection in between the duality. Do you think duality implies connection? That's what I said before. I think duality implies connection, opposition or being complementary. Duality can be it's total op it's opposition. And opposition, like the shadow you can see only when the sun is just like this on things and then you can see this is an opposi opposition like an opposition light is and a darkness. kind of connection as well opposition is the nature of the connection no? like or the separation because if two things are not different you do not you yeah, they don't are see. separated because of the nature so it's not necessarily connection that's what i'm saying it's duality mm. connection and opposition are the tau of duality you need both shades to make even the distinction between opposition and connection okay. is the duality itself. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like rejection and... Everything yeah. exists because the, the, the opposite exists. So that's duality. That's the Tao. That's the concept of yin and yang. Mm -hmm. 